Guten Tag! My name is Dmad, and welcome to another episode of Backtrack. This time, we're back at Tanganyika Wildlife Park. As mentioned in previous episodes here, Tanganyika is a seasonal park, open from spring to fall, as most of their animals require indoor heating during the cold winter. In this episode, we're visiting Tanganyika earlier on, when they first open for the season in the spring. The trees are bare, the grass is surprisingly green, and a good number of the animals are out. But with all that in mind, let's get into what was Tanganyika Wildlife Park like back in the spring of 2021. Among the animals out was a herd of reticulated giraffes and the small cat ambassadors. One thing that has changed is that these two cats got massive upgrades since the time of filming. Jade, the serval, got the other serval's habitat after he moved out. And Hazel, the Eurasian lynx, got the old tiger habitat before moving to a behind-the-scenes area once the younger tiger took over. If you saw my previous episode of Tanganyika, you'll know Jade and Hazel pretty well. If not, go check it out after this one. And yes, by this time, the two white tigers retired to a big cat sanctuary further south, where it was warmer. One thing that hasn't changed, but I didn't really cover in the last video, was their lorikeet landing. This massive walkthrough aviary houses six species of lorikeet, as well as a pair of golden pheasants. Unfortunately, since the time of filming, the female pheasant did pass away. Regarding the lorikeets, some species took me a while to differentiate, while others, like this red-blue lorikeet, stuck out like a sore thumb. Another thing I appreciate about the lorikeets, especially after working at the park last summer, is that each bird has its own personality and social interaction. You also get the chance to feed the lorikeets if you have one of the feeding passes, and wait, how did I do that? As far as things go, most of the other habitats and animals haven't really changed since the last video here. One guest feature that did get completed was their Tanganyika Falls splash pad, which was going to have its opening the following summer. Something else that will eventually change was their primate circle. Animals like their black and white rough lemur and family group of colobus monkeys eventually got transferred out. Speaking of the colobus, at the time of recording, they had their new baby out and about with the rest of the troop. Next to their Indian rhino was another group of primates caring for their young, the vulnerable Javan Langer. The babies are an apricot color and will either grow to be orange or dark gray. And the females of the troop share the maternal duty. Unlike last time, due to the cooler weather, the Binturong was out and about. Around the children's zoo and camels, nothing has really changed. However, if you go to the zebras, there was a new face walking around.
in all, nothing else has really changed at the park. So with that, I think we're going to close it out a little early. A shorter video, I know, but next time we visit Tanganyika, things are going to be a little more festive. Hey, hey, turn that music off. Wait until after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will consider liking and subscribing to the channel as well as following us on our other platforms. Link tree in the description below. And share this video out to anyone who likes seeing Tanganyika Wildlife Park, zoos in the spring, or just zoos and animals in general. Thank you all for watching and remember, always be prepared, do good daily, and love nature. For your life is a canvas and you have the brush. I'll be